Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you all are doing absolutely great, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Flip. So there is something I have to tell you. That is, the MacBook Air on macOS Catalina is finally good. It's been couple of months that I made one video where I have told you that do not update to macOS Catalina because your MacBook Air is going to get really, really damn bad with the update of macOS Catalina and that version was macOS 10.15.3 maybe but right now I'm using the macOS Catalina 10.15.4 and it is really really smooth it is as good as macOS Mojave so let me tell you what were those issues and are they fixed or still have all those issues on macOS Catalina so let's open the Mac and let me tell you all the problems that I was facing with the old version of macOS Catalina 10.15.2 or 10.15.0 or 10.15.3 but right now I'm using 10.15 15.4 and it is working very well okay the first problem i was facing was the booting problem but right now i'm really happy to say that the booting problem is totally fixed there is no such issues everything works as fine as before on macos mojave or the macos high sierra right now on macos catalina 10.15.4 the boot up time is as normal as the Mac OS Mojave or the Mac OS High Sierra. So there is no such issues on the booting time. And after that, the problem I was facing was the RAM management problem. So the RAM on the MacBook Air with the Catalina's oldest version was getting filled up very quickly that I couldn't even do anything on the Mac. But right now it is totally fixed. As you can see, the RAM is very, very good and 5 GB, 4 GB RAMs every single time when I open my Mac, I usually get 4 to 5 GB RAM available on my Mac. I think this problem has also been fixed. All right, the next problem I was facing was uh, day-to-day -day uses hang that means if I'm using Chrome Safari for net browsing I'm using email applications I'm using some very basic light applications like a quick time player for viewing 4k videos on my MacBook Air and I was seeing a huge amount of lag every single day while using day-to-day -day applications like that and that is the reason I just downgraded to Mac OS Mojave at that point but right now it is also fixed I can use uh, or watch 4k videos on my MacBook Air without any kind of issues with quick time i can uh, use youtube for playbacks there is no such issues like that and i think this problem has also been fixed so i'm really happy to say that it is no more a problem on your mac with the macOS catalina all right the number four problem i was facing was app crashing every single big applications like financial pro x uh, adobe photoshop premiere pro or even xcode was crashing day to day every single time and i was I was really frustrated at that point and that is the reason I downgraded to Mac OS Mojave at that point but right now all the problems are fixed I have to say that literally every single problem I was talking about at that point is already fixed so there is no such issues with the Mac OS Catalina right now so you can upgrade to Mac OS Catalina without any kind of issues any kind of thinking that it is going to hang or lag on your Mac then I have to say that Catalina is working very well and very fine on this device all right the final issue I was facing was overheating while playing uh, videos on Final Cut Pro X like I edit my videos on Final Cut Pro X so while playing back a 10 minute full HD videos on Final Cut Pro X the temperature went from 50 degrees Celsius to 65 to 75 degrees Celsius but right now the maximum temperature it hits is 65 degrees Celsius and I have no such problems or no complaint about 65 degrees Celsius because it is usual that 65 degrees Celsius will hit while editing any kind of videos on Final Cut Pro X with this kind of device all right everyone so those were the issues I was facing on macOS Catalina's older version but right now all the problems are fixed so I have decided something that is let me tell you I will never upgrade to latest Apple's uh, macOS versions as soon as it releases I will wait for at least uh, the third versions or the fourth version of this of the new operating system and after that I will upgrade and I think that is what you also should do because the newest versions especially the beta versions are really really poor and bad and that is the reason you should not upgrade Upgrade. but right now you can upgrade your macbook air on macos catalina because it is really good right now the speed is really good on macos catalina and i think there is no such issues all right so those are my opinions and if you are feeling some problems or issues with your macbook air on macos catalina then definitely let me know in the comment section i'll try it down and i will try to respond to you guys on that comment anyway so those were all for this one hopefully you guys really enjoyed be sure to subscribe if you guys really enjoyed be sure to like comment uh, and share if you want anyway goodbye